Hi and welcome. This is chapter 4 of the basic quadcopter tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to program your ESCs uh, so that you don't crash and then I'm going to show you how you install the KK board on the frame as well as the basic settings um, you have to apply in order to fly this. So the first thing we want to do is program our ESCs and therefore we have to uh, use a programming card. You can use your transmitter but this is really complicated. Um, so that's why I'm going to use these, this uh, Turnigy programming card. It's pretty simple, pretty basic and I'm going to program each uh, ESC step by step. And the first thing you want to do is um, is connect the ESC to your programming card. So you attach it, and want to make sure you got the uh, line up right. So um, the signal is um, on the far left, and then you're gonna connect the the battery, your main power connection. So again, here are the settings, um, brakes are off, battery, you gotta change that, soft card low, um, starting mode to normal, timing mode to high to prevent some uh, clocking noise on the motors, and governor mode off, confirm the settings, settings are confirmed, and turn off the battery power and repeat this process for all others. Okay, for the next step you're gonna need these little nylon screws with uh, the spacers and of course you're gonna need the KK board as you can see right here. Uh, I've got the uh, low voltage alarm connected to my main uh, power source and uh, this is going to be another KK board and um, when mounting the KK board you want to make sure that you have um, the buttons on the KK board to the back to the back of your uh, quadcopter orientation which means that uh, here's my front the uh, buttons have to be on the bottom or the display has to be on the top. However you want it, this is the way you have to mount it if you want to fly forward in this direction, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, screw on these four nylon screws. I'm gonna use these screws as well as uh, the spacers, but maybe I'm gonna just leave them right there. I'm gonna test it out. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the spaces away. Next step is to connect your ESCs in the uh, right direction so that each ESC has its right place on the KK 2.0 board. In order to power your uh, KK 2.0 board, you gotta connect your main battery to the quadcopter. And now there's no input at all, so you want to make sure you connect uh, ESC number one, which should be the front left motor. And I'm just going to try it right here. Mm, M1 is this one right here, and the ground is on the outside, so this is the way I connect it. So next step is to connect M2, which should be this motor right here. Third motor should be this one. And the fourth motor should be this one. Ok, 
Okay, so once you got all the ESCs connected, you want to get into the menu and want to go down all the way to load motor out, uh, layout. You want to enter this. And then you want to scroll down to whatever you want. I want a quadcopter in X mode, in X configuration, so I chose choose that and hit enter. Are you sure? Yes. So now it shows me the mode layout. So this is mode one, which is which should turn clockwise. This is mode two, which should uh, turn counterclockwise. This is uh, the mode three, which is supposed to turn clockwise and counterclockwise for the fourth motor. So next, we got to connect our receiver uh, to the KK board using these uh, wires here. Um, I bought them from Hobby King and there were like 10 in there and it saves a lot of time soldering these. So they are male to male and um, when you connect these you want to check out the mode on your transmitter in order to connect it the right way and um, then you can start it. So channel 1 Channel 1 on my receiver, channel 2, and then there's channel 5, and you might be wondering why we need a fifth channel. Um, this channel is for the switch for uh, changing from uh, the auto leveling function to normal. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is uh, check if our transmitter has to re reverse any channel and that uh, is what we're going to do next. So we hook up our main battery. Make sure your transmitter is on. Now we want to enter the menu and go to receiver test. Hit enter. So, aileron, aileron is uh, on the wrong channel, elevator is on the wrong channel, so pretty much this is really m messed up. So what I'm going to do now is unhook each channel. So once you got that, you want to make sure that you don't have to reverse the channels, as I said. And the way I do this is I uh, just move the sticks on my uh, transmitter. So aileron. So I, this is um, right and this is left, but I'm moving my uh, stick the opposite direction, so I have to reverse that channel. Yeah, and now it's moving right and left. It's perfect. My elevator is also reversed. So back, forward. My throttle is idle and full. That's perfect. And my rudder is left and right and that's okay as well. So my auxiliary I gotta check which switch it's on. Okay. My auxiliary is okay as well. And now we wanna um, calibrate the throttle range on our ESCs, and therefore we have to turn our transmitter on, um, put our stick to a full throttle, and then we have to connect our. Um, main battery source to the KK board by pressing down buttons 1 and 4 on your KK board. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm pressing down 1 and 4. Now it's initializing. It takes a few seconds.
Now you can check if the motor start at the same time. So I'm going to arm the copter. It's armed by uh, uh, putting the rudder to the right when the throttle is at zero. And now I'm going to start the motor. And as you can see, they all start at the same time, so it worked pretty good. The last step we have to do before we are able to go into our first test flight is that we have to balance our props and um, this is pretty important to reduce vibration on your KK board and what I've got is pretty basic it's a simple prop balancer and it's just this part I, I think it's two dollars at Hobby King and what you do is you take your prop and then you attach it to the simple prop balancer make sure it's just tight, you don't have to snug it up then you have to uh, yeah, put it between something that's a little higher so you can su see where it tends to and as you can see I have to put some sticky tape or some uh, film on this side to balance it out so that's what I'm going to do now. And I put some tape here, so it should be better. still off some more tape on here and now it's pretty good for the quad copter just a little more and that is about perfect that's where we want it okay and then we are gonna repeat this process for all uh, four props So now we've got our props balanced and uh, now we're going to put them on our quadcopter. So there's one, one last step I want to show you uh, how you can make sure that your quadcopter is reacting in the right way. Um, therefore you have to have your props off because otherwise it's really dangerous. There are a lot of uh, injuries that happened because people wanted to test a quadcopter or a multi-rotor uh, while having the props on. So you uh, plug in your main battery when your transmitter is on. You arm your quadcopter. You uh, put in a little throttle. And what you want to do is, when you have the throttle on, is check if the motor is reacting the right way by if you're pushing it down, the motors on the side that you push down should uh, speed up, okay? So I'm test that. That's uh, pretty perfect. So I'm going to turn it off. Unarm it first. Now I'm going to uh, install the props. So before I can enter the test flight I'm going to um, glue this on to the board, um, get all the wires out of the way. Um, I'm going to tighten up uh, the props 
and then we are ready for chapter 5 and the first test flight. So thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe.